Today we will be discussing the Microsoft Dynamics GP Payables Management Year in Closing Processes. There is a specific order in which you should close each module within Microsoft Dynamics GP. That order is Inventory, Receivables Management, Payables Management, Fixed Assets, General Ledger, Analytical Accounting if you are using that module, and Payroll. Please note that the year and procedures for payroll are independent of the closing procedures for other modules within Microsoft Dynamics GP. Here are the steps in which you will close the Payables Management module. If your fiscal year is the same as the calendar year and you will be closing those at the same time, this is the checklist that you will use. You will first post all transactions for the year in the AP module. You would also want to ensure that all transactions from purchase order processing, if you are using that module, have been posted and updated through Payables Management. You'll also want to print the Age Trial Balance with Options Report. This will give you a snapshot of your accounts payable prior to closing your year. You should also print the Vendor Period Analysis Report. Then you will want to install the Payroll Year End Update. This particular update will contain any form changes or code changes that are required for the 1099 reporting purposes. This year there are changes to the form 1099. So please make sure that you do the payroll year end update to include those form changes. The next step will be to make a backup and name that pre-1099 edits. Once that backup has been done, then you can verify your 1099 information and edit that information if it is required. Then you will print your 1099 statements. Once those statements have been printed, you will make a backup that is named pre-year end. Now you are ready to close your year. Once you have closed the year, then you can close the fiscal periods for the purchasing module. If you are tracking sales tax in the purchasing module, then you can close your tax year, but only after your receivables module has been closed if you are tracking sales tax there as well. The last step of the process will be to make a backup named Post Year End. This is the checklist if you are only closing your calendar year and your fiscal year resides in a different time frame than the calendar year. First, you will post all transactions for the calendar year. Print the age trial balance with the options report. Make a backup that is named pre-1099 edits. Verify the 1099 information and edit it if it is required. Print your 1099 statements. Make a backup that is named pre-year end. Close the calendar year. Close the fiscal periods. Close your tax year. And then make a final backup named post year end. If you are doing your fiscal year end closing only, then these are the steps that will be required. If your fiscal year falls other than a calendar year, this particular process may take place at some other point of the year. Post all transactions for the fiscal year. Print the vendor period analysis report. Make a backup that is named pre-year end. Close the fiscal year. Close the fiscal periods and then make a backup that is named post-year-end. 
So let's take a look. If you're closing your calendar and your fiscal year at the same time, then you will want to perform the following steps. First, you will want to make sure that all of your transactions have been posted for the year. If you want to enter future period transactions before you close the year, you will want to create a new batch for the future period transactions. Save the future period transactions in the new batch, but do not post the new batch until after the year has been closed. The following areas of Microsoft Dynamics GP are not date sensitive. They are the amount since last close view in the vendor yearly summary window, your smart list objects, and the vendor summary reports. These areas of Microsoft GP will be incorrect if you do not close the payables year after you enter all of your 2013 transactions and before you enter all 2014 transactions. However, the amount since last closed view of the vendor yearly summary window is editable. Therefore, you can update the information in the amount since last closed view of the vendor yearly summary window if that is required. The second step will be to print a detailed age trial balance with options. Under your report section, you'll select trial balance and you'll do an age trial balance with options. You can print this report to a file and save it in a folder titled 2013 AP Year End Closing Processes. You will also want to print the Vendor Period Analysis Report. Again, you can save this particular report in your 2013 AP Year End Closing folder on your network. The next step is to install the Payroll Year End Update. To do this process, you will go to Microsoft Dynamics GP and Customer Source and download the Payroll Year-End Update. Prior to installing the Payroll Year-End Update, you will also want to make a backup and title that Pre-Year-End Update. To make that backup, you can go to the Microsoft Dynamics GP menu maintenance and backup. You will have to know your system password. You will select your company name and select a backup file location if it's other than the one that defaults into the window and then click OK. You will have to be logged on to the server where your dynamics databases are located and you will have to be logged in as the SA user in order to perform the backups. Some housekeeping that should be performed before printing your 1099 statements is to verify that your vendors are currently set up as 1099 types that need to have 1099 amounts reported. To do this, you will go to the Microsoft Dynamics GP menu and select the Smart List option. When you expand the Purchasing folder, there is a folder under the Vendors section that contains a Smart List that will show you a list of all your current 1099 vendors. If you see that there is a vendor that has not been set up as a 1099 type, then you can go to that vendor's record under the Card section. Select the vendor, go to Options, and then change them to reflect that they are the correct text type that they need to be. You can also set a default box where the dollar amounts 
that you have paid that vendor for this year will print to. In the tax ID field, you can also set up what their tax ID number is. To edit those vendors that you have had to change to a 1099 type, after you have set their card as a 1099 type, then you will want to go to the 1099 details. In this window, you can select the vendor and then for each month that you recorded a payment to the vendor for the year 2013, you can go to that month and then you can put the dollar amount that you should have recorded in the box that it applies to. You'll do this for each month that needs to be updated and you will save that information. Once you have saved that information, you can then go to the yearly view and you will see that information has rolled forward. You're now ready to print the 1099 statements. Under the routine section, there's the print 1099 option. Please note, that 1099s can be performed at any time, even after a year has been closed, should you need to go back and reprint one for any reason. Each of the 1099 report types have to be printed separately. So if you have report types for miscellaneous, dividend, or interest, you will have to do a 1099 print run for each of these different 1099 types. You'll enter your taxpayer ID number. You'll select the form type that you will be using. And if you needed to run them for a particular range of vendors, you can do that as well by vendor ID, vendor name, vendor class, or type. In the print section down here, you will select what print option you are performing. And then you will click print. Currently, Microsoft Dynamics GP does not handle magnetic media filing of the state 1099s. The following Microsoft Dynamics partner does offer compatible state W2 and 1099 magnetic media products. For more information, contact Green Shades Accounting Software Incorporated. The website is www.greenshades.com. You can also print your 1096 form from here. You're now ready to make a backup and name it pre-year end. Put this in a safe permanent storage. This backup will give you a snapshot of the company's financial position at the end of the year. And this backup can be restored later if it is required. It will allow you to recover data quickly in the event you have a power fluctuation or other problems occur during the year and closing process. You're now ready to close your year. Under the routine section of purchasing, year and close, you have the option to do all, which would include your fiscal and your calendar year, and as I stated before, if your calendar year and fiscal year are on the same rotation cycle, then you can do all at one time. Or if you are just closing your calendar year, you can select that option. This calendar close would be for just printing your 1099s and then that would take the 1099 amounts for the current year and roll those balances forward in that amount since last closed window for the yearly summary vendor maintenance window. If your fiscal year falls other than the calendar year, you can do that at the point of the last part of your fiscal calendar year. You can also include to print the report. We recommend that you print this report and save it in a safe place so that should you need to reference the report, 
You can gain access to it at any time. The last closing date fields will be populated with whatever system date you have currently showing at the time of the closing process. If you want this date to reflect the last date of either the fiscal or the calendar year, then you will want to click on the date field in the lower left hand corner and change that date to reflect the date that you want stamped on the year in closing process window. Once you have made your selections in this window, you will click Close Year. When the process has completed, it will generate the report. You are now ready to close your fiscal periods. To do this, go to the Administration tab under the Setup portion and under Company and Fiscal Periods. You will scroll down and find the last period of that year under the purchasing module and you'll mark those boxes. Then click OK. If you are tracking sales tax in the payables module and you are tracking sales tax in the receivables module and you have already closed your receivables module, you can now come and close your tax year. It too can be found under the Administration tab, under Routines, and Tax Year in Close. You will want to mark the box Close Year and then print the report. We also recommend that you just print this report to a file and save it in a safe place. Then click Process. Once the report is printed, the process has completed. The last step of the year in close will be to make a final backup and call it post year end. This concludes the closing processes for the accounts payable module. However, there are a few tips that I would like to give you today to help you with the smoother process for year 2014. First, run that smart list that we looked at earlier in the video that displays a list of all your 1099 vendors. Should you see that you have vendors that need to be set up as a 1099 type, if you have not already corrected that, Go to the cards under the vendor options and do so at this time. Also, if you know that you possibly could have vendors that need to be set up as 1099 types or you're uncertain of this information, in the purchasing module on the vendor maintenance card, there is a write letter feature. This uses a Word document template which will allow you to very quickly and easily print letters to all of your vendors to request their 1099 or W9 information updates. You can select a range of vendors or all vendors in this window. You can also say if you wanted to use only the active vendors, the inactive or all. Then you will click Next. The option in the letter templates that you will want to select will be the request for the W-9. Then click Next. Here you will see that all vendors have been selected because I told it to include all vendors. And in the vendor maintenance window, I left my fields unselected. I'm going to just unmark all of them just so we can select a few that you can see. Next, in the Completing the Letter Writing Assistant, you can enter your name and other information. Then you will click the Finish button. This will prepare the letters within the Microsoft Word template 
and will populate your company information in some predefined text. You can print these letters from within Word and then mail them to your vendors. Hopefully these tips will save you some time at the end of 2014 for closing your accounts payable. Hopefully these tips will save you some time at the end of 2014 and make the process for your accounts payable closing run a little smoother. Thank you for viewing our video. This concludes the presentation of the closing processes for payables management in Microsoft Dynamics GP. Please refer to our other Microsoft Dynamics GP videos for the year-end closing processes of the other modules.